are on our way to Chinatown, more specifically um, Maxwell's Food Center because we've seen on the internet that it's pretty good. Mm. So we just want to check it out and I'll see you guys once we reach Maxwell Food Center. While we make our way to Chinatown, I'd like to guide you on how to get to Chinatown in Singapore. Let's start with the most common route using the MRT system. First head to Orchard, Orchard? <laughs> Orchard, I don't know how to spell that. First head to Orchard Road, MRT station, which is a major shopping district. You'll want to board the MRT train here. Take the North-South line, also known as the Red Line. Board the train heading towards Marina South Pier MRT station. Once you reach the City Hall MRT station, you will need to make a transfer. After traveling through four stops, alight at City Hall. At City Hall station, transfer to the east-west line, which is the green line. Follow the signs to switch lines and board the train heading towards Pasiris MRT station. Next, you'll alight at Outram Park MRT station, which is just two stops away. Then at Outram Park station, switch to the northeast line, also known as the purple line. Follow the transfer signs and board the train heading towards Pungol MRT station. Chinatown is just two stops away from Outram Park station, so you'll have to alight at Chinatown MRT station. Once you arrive at Chinatown MRT station, follow the exit signs to the appropriate exit to reach the heart of Chinatown. You'll find yourself surrounded by a lively area filled with shops, restaurants and historic sites. Alternatively, if you prefer a more direct route you can always take a taxi just let the driver know you'd like to go to chinatown and they'll take you straight there i hope this helps you reach chinatown easily and enjoy all that this wonderful district has to offer before we continue with Maxwell Food Center, there's a little something something I want to show. The first thing is this temple that we stumbled upon on our way to Maxwell Food Center. When entering temples in Singapore, there are obviously some rules you need to follow, which are clothing that cover your knees and shoulders, avoid wearing hats and sunglasses inside. In some temples, you'll need to take off your shoes, but that doesn't acquire to all temples like the one we visited. Check if photography is permitted since some areas or rituals may be off limits to photos. You can also light an incense stick for free. We also walked past this small food stand with dried food and when I took a closer look it had me like... Because I realized those are dried up lizards, cockroaches, snakes and centipedes. And as someone who doesn't really like um, insects, except for lizards because I think they're pretty cute. <laughs> It had me bawling my eyes out. <laughs> Nevertheless, I still liked exploring local food, if that's a local food in Singapore. <laughs> Without further ado, let's jump onto how to get to Maxwell Food Center. So we finally have the popular Maxwell Food Center, which is a great spot to enjoy a variety of Singaporean vegetarian and other international dishes. Maxwell Food Center is also in Chinatown, so it's just a walking distance from there. But I'll give you a small guide on how to get there too. So begin at any MRT station and head towards Chinatown MRT station. This is a key interchange station and will bring you close to Maxwell Food Center. Once you arrive at Chinatown MRT station, alight and follow Follow the signs to the exit. Chinatown MRT station is on the northeast line, also known as the purple line. Then exit the MRT station and head towards the street level. Maxwell Food Center is about a 10 minute walk from the station. From Chinatown MRT station, make your way to Maxwell Road. Head towards the junction with South Bridge Road. Turn left onto Maxwell Road and you'll find Maxwell Food Center on your right hand side. Anyways, I hope my guide was helpful. If not, you can look up the directions yourself on the internet anytime. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. 